Christmas is more than just a single day of celebration. It's the advent of Christ, a time when we remember His humble beginnings and rejoice in His eventual second coming. This time, not as a baby in a manger, but as Christ the King. So what do you do when the King is coming? Well, you prepare your home and your heart to honor Him. Here's how to do just that. I'm going to start by sprucing up our bedroom with these DIY picture frames. You can reuse all of the budget-friendly DIYs that I'll be sharing today, year after year. If you're new to my channel, welcome! My name is Anne and I share my reflections on faith, mental health, and all things that will help you flourish. Subscribe to my channel if you want to join my community and let's help each other navigate this crazy life. To give you some context, it wasn't that long ago that I brushed with homelessness, so I definitely did not grow up with all of the resources that you see here. This is all fairly new to me, but what I am familiar with is how to make the most of what I've been given. Life isn't fair, and people aren't born at the same starting line. For example, I was born into a mud hut in Vietnam, and my family was deeply impoverished at the time. Christ himself was born into a dirty and smelly animal enclosure. But no matter how we started out, there is still a concept of reaping and sowing. We see this in the book of Matthew, when Jesus shared a well-known parable about a master and his two servants. To the one who stewarded his portion well, the master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant, he said. You have been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. I'm sure that's what we all want to hear when we meet our Maker. But for now, we must make the most of the lot that we have here on Earth. For the first tutorial, I'll demonstrate how to make star ornaments out of parchment paper. How beautiful and simple was that? I'll make a few more and show you how I used it in my decor later. For the second tutorial, let's make DIY Christmas Village ornaments. Here's how. Ta-da! These are gonna hang on my tree later. And yes, Ollie has been watching me the whole time. The reason I'm turning these houses into ornaments is because my theme for this year is Forever Home, named after my book. In addition to the wooden homes, I'm also going to make DIY ornaments out of my actual book. Here it is. And that's all there is to it. If you want to support my book, I'll link it in my video description. The third tutorial is what you saw at the beginning of this video. It's very simple. All you do is wrap two bunches of Christmas sprays together in floral tape, hot glue it to your picture frames, and then hot glue a velvet ribbon on top. 
I also painted those prints myself using the free templates from thehookahshop.com. Now I'm gonna set the table for the friends who are visiting this week. Finally, I'm going to hang the doorway garland and the living room will be completed. You know, usually people deem their bedrooms or private spaces to be sacred, but in our house, we've learned that public spaces can be sacred too. Around this dining room is where our closest friends can hold hands and say grace, share delicious meals together, and even shed tears for each other during those harder weeks. So the dining room can be just as sacred as the family room and the bedroom and any other space in your house when you invite the presence of God. Speaking of harder times, there were certainly times even after I followed Jesus where I broke down begging Him to just take me home because I was in so much pain that I didn't want to be here anymore. But I knew that He was there and listening to me even while I was sobbing and kind of losing my mind. When I would finally calm down, I was able to move forward every time because I had this deep-seated feeling that he was patiently there with me and that I just needed to hold on a little bit longer for him to come through. And sure enough, he always did. If you're feeling surrounded right now and don't know what to do, cry to him. Cry and then praise because he will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. When you give your life to Jesus, and accept Him as your Savior, He promises to anoint your head with oil and your cup will overflow. And surely His goodness and unfailing love will pursue you all the days of your life and you will live in His house forever. To me, that's what it truly means to be forever home. Our flesh might be here on earth, but our citizenship is in heaven. And the beautiful part is that we get to experience a bit of that kingdom on earth, right where we're at, when we spend time with Jesus in our day to day, when we reconcile with a friend, or create a safe home for ourselves and the people we love. I show you exactly how to do all of that and more in my book, Forever Home, which I'll link in my description box below. I love when Jesus comforted his disciples in the book of John. Don't let your hearts be troubled, he said. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I am going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you so that you will always be with me where I am and you know the way to where I am going. So whether we started in a mud hut or a manger, what matters most is where we're heading after that. And my prayer for you today is that you will one day know what it's like to be in your Father's house, where there is a place prepared for you, a table set before you, and the family of God to welcome you home. And may you experience a taste of that heaven right here on earth. In Jesus' name, amen. If you were encouraged by today's message, please leave a heart in the comments and share this video with your loved ones. To continue your healing process, check out my book, Forever Home. A reader named Jessica told me that reading my story made her feel less alone and hopeful that her future could be better. Another reader named Stephanie said, your book is speaking life into my soul. Honestly, it's a divine appointment. If that's what you need today, then gift yourself this book for Christmas. I promise that I'll impact your life for the better. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again soon.